Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I usually cover pro audio or keyboards or music or something that always involves your ears. This time I'm going to cover a product. Um, it's called the Black Magic ATEM Mini Pro. Basically, it's a video switcher that allows you to hook up four cameras through HDMI connections and you can switch between those cameras. That's basically it in a nutshell. So I, I don't want to get into that because it, it's, it's not that product that I'm trying to cover, but how to add more cameras to it. So the A10 Mini Pro allows you to have four HDMI video cameras. Now, there are four inputs, like I said, one, camera, two camera, three camera, four could be a camera, it's a computer. Now, here's how you add two more cameras really cheap, right? For like $30, I mean, that's unheard of. Here is a device right here, and it's basically a generic device. There is no name to it. I got it from cablewholesale.com, but let me show you what this little device is. So let me hold it up here. All right. So that is the top of it. And over here, you can see that there is room for four. All right, actually, there's four HDMI jacks. Three of them are for inputs. You can hook up three cameras here. And the fourth one is a HDMI output. Over on the side, that's for your... Uh, 9 volt AC adapter that comes with it to plug in and the front you can see all the uh, display here over here this is the power display to show the power is on and then you've got the select button where you can physically select one two or three and it won't let you select something that isn't hooked up so if you have something in one and two but not three every time you press this it's going to go from one to two to one to two to one and so on so you have to have something in there right now if i had this plugged in and i pressed that button it wouldn't go anywhere there's nothing hooked into it all right then there's the infrared and that is for this remote control so you can with the remote choose one two or three which input you want which is really cool because you just saw that i had to go over and either use the mouse and software to choose my camera or physically go over here to the box and press one of the three camera buttons or four camera buttons but here i can use this so Here's how you add a couple of extra cameras. You pull one of these four inputs, just take those out. Take that input and put it to this, to this output. Now you hook up three more cameras. It's actually two because you're using a slot there. So, and then once you have that hooked up, you can go ahead and switch with this remote and it's really cool so give me a second i am going to pull out input number two and three and i'm going to hook those into one and two over here and then i'm going to put the output back into input two on the atem mini pro if that makes sense for you all right so give me a second while i get that done and i'll show you how the remote works All right, I'm back. All right, so let's go to input one again. All right, so you can see on the monitor when I'm on the input one, I've got the camera in front of me just like I had before. But now when I go to input two, I have two things hooked up to that now because I am going through this box that I just described, that, that HDMI switcher. Now let me use the remote and I am on the first one. We go to the second one. There we go. There's the second view. So here's the first one, which is this camera right here. And the second one, which is this camera right here. 
And if I had a third thing hooked up, I could hook that up there too. So the only difference here is the speed in which it goes from one to the other. So here you can see it, it went black for a little bit and then it came back on. Not very long. And then switching to number two again, and went back for a little bit and then back. And I can do that here or I can press the buttons here. Now there is another product which is identical to that except it has five HDMI inputs and one HDMI out. Same idea as this but up to five cameras instead of three. So basically because you're going to be using a slot to hook that up to your A10 Mini Pro, you're basically gonna be able to add either two or four cameras. And the price is unbelievable for what this is. It's like under $30 for the three version one like I have here and under $40 for the five version one. So this is a great deal plus when you're doing a one-man show where you're controlling everything you are the show and you're switching things back and forth it's so much easier to just grab a remote and casually press it people probably aren't even going to notice that you probably have this on your lap over here while you're pressing as long as you have now there is one more thing that i didn't show you on the front there there's a thing that looks like a headphone jack but it's not for headphones it's actually an extension for the infrared and this is an infrared transmitter, this remote. So basically that plugs into here and it gives you, I don't know how many feet, and it has an infrared receiver at the end. So you couldn't hook that up somewhere else and have that where this can aim to that. You could probably have it like right here and this in your lap and press this. Nobody even knows what you're doing and you've got the cameras switched. So. And again, I did this with the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro. Any other thing, Roland has devices like this. There's a lot of places that make video switchers and it can be used with any of those. So, and actually, if you have, you know, your main entertainment television, your big screen, flat screen for Sunday night football, whatever it is that you're watching, and you don't have enough input jacks on the back of your TV to hook up a DVD player and some other stuff. You can use that here too and the remote so you don't have to leave the couch. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. It certainly helps me out. So, Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.